Hello, in this lesson, we will take a closer look at the Ethernet frame. In a previous video, we covered how the frame travels across the network. Click here if you would like to watch that video. Before getting started, here are a few things to keep in mind about Ethernet frames. Ethernet frames are digital containers that are used for carrying payloads within local area networks. These containers are quite disposable and are replaced each time a payload must travel to a new subnet. Because frames use MAC addresses and are directed by switches, they are considered to be a part of the Layer 2 protocol. So now let's look at the individual pieces of the Ethernet frame. Generally speaking, an Ethernet frame consists of five segments, but there are two additional pieces that always precede the frame. They are called the preamble and the start frame delimiter. You can think of these as the ring of an incoming phone call. The preamble is seven bytes long and it informs the receiving device to synchronize itself because a frame is on the way. Following the preamble is the start frame delimiter and it is only one byte long. This is the final heads up for the device the frame will be next. As the frame comes in, the first segment that is received is the destination MAC address, which will match the address of the receiving device. Next is the source MAC address. This is the device where the frame is coming from. Following the source address is a small segment of only two bytes, which provides information on the type of frame. Next is the payload. This is what the frame is carrying. The payload cannot be smaller than 46 bytes or larger than 1.5 megabytes. The final segment is what is known as the frame check sequence. This is a hash of the entire frame that will help the receiving device determine if the data is intact or has been corrupted. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.